Since the dawn of our species, we have co-evolved and co-depended with the wildlife. Our ancestors once worshipped what we now waste. Today, the call of the wild is a call for help. Julia DiCiano with the Animal Rescue Team Incorporated in Solvang, California. We're permitted by the State Department of Fish and Wildlife to technically possess all native wildlife. Our main specialty is fawns, foxes, coyotes, bobcats, badgers, weasels, tree squirrels, um, but we never say no. It's a six month process at least, and these animals start coming in and we don't know what's coming in. We are just on call 24 seven, none of us take an hour off and people know where to bring the wildlife as we are permitted and we're the only facility permitted to take in the larger wildlife from Ventura to San Luis Obispo. We have these animals checked by a vet, dewormed, vaccinated, fed the proper diet. Their enclosures need to be cleaned twice a day. It's a huge process and when we feel they're ready that they can actually hunt on their own then we'll take them to rural locations and leave them in enclosures at certain locations I don't want to disclose and we let them acclimate to their new environment and then we release them. So it's at least a six month process. It's not a bang, bang, bang. It's a lot of work. And then again, we deal with upwards of 30 species per season. back here there's nobody in this planet that can save that um, bone infection she's got massive internal injuries you can see where the car went over her if you're gonna do it mm -hmm. the best shot is right there okay she's got a soft spot right there okay and then I'll take the carcass Yeah, see, she's bleeding it out of her mouth. She's pregnant, too. Oh, man. We've come a long way with dog ownership and cat ownership and turning the shelters into no-kill shelters. I wish people would wake up now and respect our wildlife. They deserve it just as much as we do. They were here first. So we'll just keep fighting the fight. I'll go to my grave fighting this. <laughs>